Hi, I'm Steve, and this is a printed model of the James Webb Space Telescope that I recently assembled. Now, I know this is a little on the geeky side, but I love all things space and space exploration, so bear with me a bit. A little background is in order. My good friend Pat printed all 39 parts in the model. She then packaged and individually labeled each part and then gave the kit to me as a gift. A rather generous one, I might add. Here are a couple photos of the kit she gave me before I started assembling the telescope. I'll also include a link in the video description where you can find the 3D files she used to print the parts and the steps I used for assembling the telescope. I also need to acknowledge ChemTeach628, who created the 3D files for printing the JWST parts and uploaded them, making them available for all of us to use. Thank you. This is a fairly high fidelity model in that its components are deployable in a manner similar to the actual James Webb Space Telescope. The model has nine separate hinges and sliding joints that mimic how JWST actually deploys. I'll demonstrate by starting the model in its stowed configuration and then unfolding the parts that are movable in the same order as JWST deployed. All right, we begin with the JWST model in its stowed configuration, fairly close to how it would look coming out of the spacecraft, uh, with the exception of the solar array in the, on the aft side here. It is already deployed. It's glued in place, not deployable in this model. It's fixed. So we'll begin with the first deployable element, the forward sun shield. And that just rotates down like so. And you'll see the material here simulating the sun shield is mylar, which isn't that far off from what the actual material is um, in the JWST telescope. However, this is only one layer and the JWST has five layers. For simplicity, I think one layer is good. And we do the same in the aft sun, uh, sun shield. We just rotate that down like so and it is in position. Next, we want to extend the sun shield laterally, and we do that by extending the mid-boom. That would be starboard and port mid-booms. And they go out like this to fully spread, if you will, the sun shield. Now, you'll, you'll note that the sun shield is not quite as broad as you would see in the actual James Webb Space Telescope. Um, that's simply because the, the mid-boom does not have enough extensions to extend outward to the full width of the sun shield. But for illustrative purposes, I think it shows deployment fairly, fairly well. All right, now that we have the sun shield deployed, we can move on to the aft momentum flap which just rotates out like this. There it's in its full extension. Okay, we're in good shape there. Okay, now the next step is one of my favorite, deploying the secondary mirror, which is located on the top here. You'll see the back side of the secondary mirror. It's, it's held in place by a mechanism, a multi-hinged mechanism of struts forward and aft of the primary mirror. So we'll just uh, rotate this outward in front of the primary mirror, at, like so. And it actually deploys in a method very similar to the actual James Webb Space Telescope. There it is fully extended in front of the primary mirror. And that, I think that's my favorite part of this model, is how accurately they they reflect the uh, secondary mirror mechanism. All right, we're making some progress here. Now, next step is pretty simple. It is the uh, aft instrument radiator, and we deploy that by simply rotating this top piece upward and the lower flap like so. Click into place, and now the aft radiator 
is deployed. So this is starting to look like the James Webb we all know, but the last and most uh, satisfying step is to rotate out the primary mirror wings. So we'll do that by just pulling that outward. I have a little piece of tape I'll remove to, that was holding it in place. One nice feature of this model is that it had holes to insert magnets that hold those wings in place once, once they're extended. So I'll do that here. And now the wings, the, the primary mirror wings stay in place. And that is the last step. And there you have it, the fully deployed James Webb Space Telescope. Fortunately, I don't need to go through the weeks of instrument checkout and commissioning with this version. But rest assured, I will be ready for JWST's scientific imagery when it's available on July 12th of this year. I must thank Pat for all of the detailed efforts she put into making this kit. Thank you so much. And thank you ChemTeach628, whoever you are, for all of your work in making this model available for all of us to print and build. Thank you.